big thanks to MPB for sponsoring this week's video. I've not watered this plant for months and uh, it's starting to show. I'll do it after this. Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or just welcome if you've not been here before. Uh, last year, about this time last year actually, I was on holiday in Tuscany with Emily and Noah and I decided to spend a morning shooting the um, the village that we were very close to. A place called Petroio, if I remember rightly. And uh, it was lovely. And I decided to shoot it with this camera. This is a Lumix GX1, which I picked up last year for 52 pounds. And I did so because uh, it was the first camera that I ever shot with. That's not true, I'd bought cameras before, but this is the first camera that I'd bought for actual photography, to try and get better at taking photos, as opposed to just having a camera for holidays and things like that. And if you watched last week's video, you'll know that uh, I was in Italy again recently, and when I got to Positano, after my slightly dodgy walk along that road, trying to take photos with my phone, I had a decision to make. Either I spend the rest of the day in Positano, continuing to shoot with my phone, or I shoot with a camera, and the camera I had was this. And uh, basically, this one, hands down, because I was after the tactility of a camera, having spent hours just shooting with a phone with hardly any buttons, and I wanted to hold a camera, basically. So yes, this video is basically some footage and some photos from my afternoon in Positano with this. A very cheap, quite old now, but very fun camera. And actually, it's also the morning after when I was in Amalfi, the town Amalfi, because uh, as much as I enjoy this camera, the battery is now over 10 years old, wasn't great to start with, and uh, the result is that I can't get much more than 100 shots out of one of these, even in perfect temperatures, which is what we had in Italy. So yeah, didn't last long, as you'll see, and uh, I used it the next morning too. So yeah, this is some footage and photos with this, one of my favorite cameras ever. So I've got my trusty 20mm f1.7 on, which is the only micro four thirds lens that I've used in the past couple of years. And uh, I don't know if I've mentioned on this channel my love of 40 millimeters, which is what this is in full frame terms. Um, yeah, probably my favorite focal length. I'm joking, I, I haven't stopped talking about it for about six months. Whoa, bird got close. Right, let's get low so the sign doesn't split the horizon. Are there any clouds coming? Oh, there are some clouds coming. Are they worth hanging around for? Just clouds over the sign I think would make it pretty good. Well, the, uh, the clouds aren't materialising for that shot and I don't think it's going to get any better than that vintage orange car coming past. So uh, I won't waste any more battery life on that shot, but I do love it. Let's keep heading down here. Just thought I should probably bracket this, given that the camera is quite old. No idea if I'm capturing any shadow detail if I don't bracket. I mean, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to uh, see what I'm drawn to today. Never question what you're drawn to, just shoot it with a camera, obviously. Oh, wow. The, uh, Guy on the one wheel looks kind of interesting.
might be my last shot, but I like this. Can't really see the screen. Oh dear. Right, a new morning. I'm nice and recharged, and more importantly, my camera is recharged. Or the battery, more accurately. I still have a cold that I can't shift though. No matter, I'm in a nice enough place to get over it. Wait for this little ferry to get in that gap. Perfect. long do you think I'd have to wait for someone to go and walk in the middle of the light part of the beach? Probably longer than that shadow is going to stay in the same place, I imagine. <clears throat> oh my word, it's happening. And he's carrying a big plank of wood. No idea why. My neighbour's just started cutting his grass. Don't know if you can hear that. That's allowed, I suppose. It's a bank holiday today because we're um, we're putting a hat full of diamonds on a man. Uh, that was quite a lot of fun, I found, and uh, I got some photos that I really quite like. There are some instances where this sensor, which is a micro four third sensor, is um, is starting to show its age. I mean, as you can see, not the biggest sensor on the market anyway, but yeah, it's over a decade old now. And uh, in some cases it does show. So the photo where I was talking about bracketing, if I just take the middle exposure and raise the shadows, you can see that there is an awful lot of noise in those shadows and not that much detail compared to a modern sensor or maybe a bigger sensor or a sensor that's both modern and bigger. And in lots of cases, you can mitigate that by doing things like bracketing or even using the new denoise feature in Lightroom, which as far as I can tell is every bit as good as the third party software that we've been seeing from uh, a few different companies for a few years now. And I love using stuff like that because it really helps to remind me that you don't need the latest and greatest in terms of camera gear to go out and have fun taking pictures or to get results that you're really happy with. And certainly that's the case if you're just going to be sharing your photos online. I find it very difficult to believe that anyone could notice the difference between a picture taken on this and say my Leica M11 
which when you think about the price discrepancies between these two cameras, 50 pounds, 8,000 pounds, is kind of laughable. So yes, lots of fun with this camera, but I think if I want to use it more in future, which I do, I should probably try and find a um, another battery and some uh, ND filters for this lens so I can shoot it wide open in bright conditions more. I definitely have some somewhere, but no idea. In theory, they should be in this drawer, but um, I can't find them. I've just got all these boxes full of random cables and GoPro mounts. and I can't find any ND filters for a 46 millimeter filter thread. Anyway, thank you for watching. Very much appreciate it. And thank you to the sponsor of today's video, MPB. And as I said, I got this camera on MPB. And one of the things I want to do more this year is to hunt for other gems like this. So you might remember a few weeks back, I was talking about the fact that I sold a load of camera gear again on MPB. I've done that an awful lot. And each time I've had an absolutely fantastic experience. And as usual, as soon as my gear was assessed, I was paid within a day or two. In fact, this time, I think it was on the day that my gear was assessed. Uh, if you want to sell gear, it's a super simple process. You just tell MPB what you've got. They will arrange for a courier. They'll assess your gear, confirm your quote. And if you're happy with it, you'll get paid very quickly. But also, yeah, like I said, there are so many cameras, older cameras that other people don't have a use for that can take fantastic photos for really not very much money. And uh, this year, I want to start hunting for them more. One of my favorite things to do, looking for old fun camera gear, and MPB has tons of it. So yes, links in the description if you're looking to buy or sell used camera gear. I couldn't recommend them enough. And next week, completely the other end of the spectrum, I'll be shooting with my Leica M11, again in Italy, and uh, we'll see how different the pictures look. I've not seen them yet, so I don't know. But as I say, I imagine, certainly on YouTube, they'll probably look exactly the same, which makes me feel very good about my purchase of the Leica. Anyway, waffling now. I'll see you then.